Hey guys, it's me, Roundy the Rando. Now, Valorant is another first person shooter in an industry full of first person shooters. What makes this one better to play than any of these ones, I may hear you ask. And to that end, I say, not a lot if I'm honest. Now, Valorant can be easily described to other gamers as the fusion of CSGO and Overwatch. Created by the makers of League of Legends, it has the gameplay of CSGO combined with the style of Overwatch and also an added sprinkle of Riot bullshit on top. Some of the best features from the other games are not included. For example, you can't team kill an ally if they're being an idiot, you can't leave a game if you're not having fun, and Riot have claimed monopoly over the skin marketplace by disallowing players to trade between one another. Now, not all of these changes are inherently bad, but they do all contribute to the overall experience of playing Valorant. At first, I'd like to discuss some of the things I actually enjoy about this game. Now, at its core, Valorant is an intense first-person shooter with excellent mechanics and functionality. There's something strangely satisfying about slapping an opponent with your Vandal, getting a headshot with the Operator, or just clutching the round for your team in dire odds that other games will struggle to compare to. At times, you may feel a great sense of pressure that will bolster a player's will to succeed and amplify the feeling of genuine excitement once a successful play has been made. The abilities are unique and well implemented while serving practical benefits. For example, you have an agent that can heal their teammates, you have an agent that can deploy a smoke to prohibit vision, and also an agent with increased mobility which was clearly designed for aggressive play. I can see how this could encourage cooperation between players, providing a great take on a team strategy game. But. Almost everything I have just said has its bad side, and even though I can see the intention, it can hold the game back and ruin a player's enjoyment. For example, the abilities are interesting, but you'll quickly see that specific agents are superior to others. There has to be a continued effort to balance each playable character in order to ensure fairness, and it's that term right there which will be this game's undoing. What is fair, and what is unfair? When you're matched with all players of a similar skill level, the game is such a competitive thrill. But if you're matched with a clear skill difference between your team and the opposing team, matches will begin to stagnate as you become trapped in a game that you just can't win. Being punished for leaving is unfair. Having players leave mid-match is unfair on those who are actually trying to win. Being able to see an enemy player's ultimate status, I feel, is just a monumental oversight and it provides a clear strategic edge. Why can't you surrender? Why can't you kick players? Why can't I use rude words? Why are the skin collections four times the price of an actual good game? I feel like there are clear improvements that could be made to the game to ensure a better overall experience. Despite Valorant's full release occurring not long ago, I really hope they continue to add new weapons, new agents, new maps, and make the necessary changes to some of its core principles, such as adding the option to surrender a losing match, which I feel would actually resolve some of the issues I've mentioned so far. I'm looking forward to playing this game a bunch once they release competitive mode, and undoubtedly, I feel like there's a lot more work to be done to Valorant.